Good morning, it's currently like 8 a.m. Um, I just woke up. Um, but today is gonna be a very busy day. After whisper, kind of, because my parents are sleeping. We're gonna do voodoo, but the line, I heard it's ridiculously long. It could take up to a couple hours just to get like donuts so I was like I mean they have one in Universal I mean of course it's not as like you know as the original but yeah we'll see what we get up to <laughs> This vest that has witches all over it is from Buffalo Exchange. My coat jacket thing is Gucci. And then I'm just wearing my high waisted shorts. And then, of course, the mismatched socks. Hey guys, so I just got back from roaming around the city. We went shopping and I'm just gonna show you what I got so the first place that we went to was Urban Outfitters I really really loved it there they had really really cute stuff like my Urban Outfitters doesn't have these cute like clothing items because it's California it's so hot they don't have a lot of winter clothes but I didn't get any winter clothes because your girl's going back to Cali so <laughs> yeah I got this pride shirt and it's the blue one, it just says pride, and then on the back it says love is love. They only had a large, but it was on sale for $10. I have the other one, the pink one, that says love is love. And then it has all the people on the back, but I definitely wanted to pick up the blue one. And they had it on sale, so yeah. And then I got a Dream Girl shirt, which is J. Cole. J. Cole, I love J. Cole. Um, so that's the stuff I got at Urban Outfitters. I went to Wild Fang and I love this bag. The best thing since Cardi B. <laughs> but I got some stuff there. This was my favorite store. This is what I was most looking forward to because this is in an androgynous women's clothing store or anybody in general. Like anybody can wear this. So. all wet this bralette kind of Calvin Klein style and then the back and I got my sister this Sophia pin there we go since she loves the golden girls and I've been eyeballing this button up for a really really long time but it's just this green button up with watermelons and pineapples so cute. I got the Futures Fluid t-shirt. Oh, I'm obsessed with this collection. So that is what I got at Wild Thing. Then I just picked up these gloves from Target because my hands were so 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 cold. This really cute little ramen ornament from World Market. It's gonna go on my little Christmas tree. And the last stop was Powell's Bookstore. Let me tell you, I didn't really like it. Because it's just crazy. There were so many people there. And I'm like, this is stressful. Bookstores are not supposed to be stressful. Like, it, it, but it was really, really cute. So, 
I found this little pouch that says be bold or italic but never regular. I like that, it's really cute. <laughs> and then two books. I got Imperial Bedrooms by Brent Easton Ellis. This is the sequel to Less Than Zero. Really, really good book. And then I got Agatha Christie um, Murder on the Orient Express. I really like this old vintage cover. And they're making a movie out of this, and I'm so excited. But yeah, that was my little Portland haul. So we just got back from dinner. I had Veggie Grill. Veggie Grill is my favorite place in the whole entire world. And I'm wearing my Dreamville shirt with a hoodie underneath it. But I'm going to be ending the vlog here for tonight. Day. I hope you guys enjoyed day two of Portland. Make sure you subscribe and to see more of my Portland vlogs and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!